well i hope we are in live so yeah. yes assalamu alaikum hello everyone welcome or welcome back to music arab and this is lamia a ninth grader at vigorna sanuskana college and the rejf tisul studio a teacher of tisul bangladesh and also the host of today's live session so guys can you please let me know in the comment box that you can hear us or not and am i I mean, my voice is clear or not, and where are you watching this live from? So today, as you guys can see my caption, I am here with a very special person, the master of English, you can say, the god of English. So can you just like introduce yourself to our viewers? Okay, Lamia Booth, uh, thanks for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself. And hello, dear viewers, and my full name is Azwat Abr. And you can also call me as what because that's my nickname. And I'm 12 years old. I'm an eighth grader student at Casey Model School and College. And also, you all of you know that I'm a TESOL learner. And my hometown is in Cox's Bazaar. Cox's think. Bazaar, cool. Yeah. Very nice place. And this is the longest sea beach of the world. It is. Yeah. And currently, I live in Dhaka with my family. And, yep. Yeah. My hobbies are gardening, content creating, reading books. In future, I want to be a computer engineer. So that's all about me. Thank you very much. That was a really, really, really nice intro. So as far as I know, and as you said, you are a Tassel learner. So I have got some questions from, for you. So are you, are you ready to answer those? Yes, absolutely. I am ready okay. to answer gotcha. any question. <laughs> You know, he said, absolutely, I'm ready to answer any kind of question because he don't care about the question. As I, as you guys know, he is the master of English. So my very first question is, may I know it's how long it's been to TESOL? Um, well, I started my journey at TESOL from 2020 mm -hmm. and it's been one year. Oh, very cool. So did you remember that month? When you joined? Um, yeah, I remember that month. It was in uh, maybe 24th January. 24th January. Oh, cool. You remembered that date as well. Yeah. Okay. So because it was in the first month, so that's why I'm a bit no. Okay, okay, got it. So that was uh, 24th January yes. 2020. So that was the most luckiest day for you i can say just because of yeah. you you transform you can see your transformation yeah. so may i know like truthfully can you say uh, what what was your experience well um there's a lot of experience behind this that is mostly uh, um i joined tesol bangladesh i mean uh, who told you to join tesol bangladesh well firstly my one of my friend told me that uh, there's a famous institution uh, where you can be a great master at learning English and before joining TESOL I also did some courses on 10 minute school okay. I think you know that this is a very famous institution yep. and I In did a uh, kids English course mm -hmm. and after join after doing the course then I feel that um, I want to be I want to learn more advanced things on English then I heard about TESOL Bangladesh mm -hmm. from one of my friends and my friend told that if you join with me then it will be awesome. So then I searched for the TESOL on the Facebook. Then I saw lots of uh, videos. Kids, uh, videos of learners. They are learning English and they are also showing some mental math tricks which inspired me a lot to be a TESOL learner. I mean, when you just like go for the site, for the, I mean, the page, you can see lots of lives, lots yeah. of videos of kids. Lots of videos, And yeah. your mind will be like, how did they do it? They're still a kid. And it's really incredible to yeah. watch them like this. In this age, they are doing mental math course. Yeah. It's unbelievable. It is. Yeah. It's, it's definitely unbelievable. So yes, yeah. carry on, please. And then um, after joining the TESOL, mm -hmm. I was firstly joined the course called um, Spoken and Phonetics 16 Batch. 16. Remember the batch as well. Oh, okay. yeah. And after joining the course, I was a little bit shy feeling mm -hmm. because it was my first class at uh, 8.30 or mm -hmm. 9 p.m. 
So it was the class was taken by our favorite mentor. I, I think all of you know it's Mama Yasser. Yes, 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 and after joining the course, uh, I was, you know, that after joining any new classes or new course, everyone has to give an uh, introduction. Intro. And when sir asked me to give an introduction, so I was feeling so shy that I can't tell anything. So uh, sir also <laughs> been laughing that no problem, you can say anything as you want. So I give an uh, introduction shortly, not so big. And then sir told me that in future you can be a great TESOL learner if you stay with us. Then uh, after doing some classes and one by one, and after also making presentations, I feel a little bit better. Comfortable and, and comfort better. Comfortable. And confident. Yeah. And also my presentation was so high and I made 170 presentations. Oh, seven. damn. Are you kidding? No, it's seven. 170. 70. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. This is why I call you the master of English. Even 170 presentation, where did you get this energy from? Well, I didn't get the energy. If anyone have their confidence and if they have the ability or if they have the chance to do this, then they can do anything. You. He is so damn confident. And guys, those who are, the, I mean, those who don't make videos, please learn from him. He is the master. I mean, you made 170. 170 presentations. 170 presentations. Yeah. Crazy. Okay, then, what uh, was your first presentation about? Uh, my first presentation was about uh, mm -hmm. international phonetic alphabet. Oh, oh. But you know, normally, what is our first presentation be like? It's be like um, our uh, intro. Intro. Or. It's um, not so good. Or, or uh, saying, how are you in yeah. some other ways? Like this kind of things. Yeah. But well, you're one of us really unique. Um, not so. I was also like the other learners. Mm -hmm. I was feeling a little bit shy while saying something. And sometimes I get stuck while saying anything. And after practicing more and more, I, I, I mean, I connected with more advanced got dictionaries. It, got it. And after practicing those mm -hmm. uh, Oxford dictionaries of words, and learning the techniques of how to say speak English fastly, mm. and, and then I started to become a little fluent in English by making more presentations. Besides that, learning some more things, uh, unique words, unique synonyms, antonyms, etc. Yeah. Okay, so can you see that transformation from the? I mean, from that time and now. I think that um, from that time I was a little bit weak in English because I couldn't speak in English while when I was in class mm -hmm. um, the teacher asked me to read something read any part of the book mm -hmm. then in English so sometimes I feel shy in standing in front of all, all my the friends, students and all the, the friends, friends. Oh, it's kind so sometimes I can't read then after practicing and I realized that how much important the English is and to read to English is an important part it is it is yeah so then I started practicing. Then I, in class, I became so Famous English. So English. And the master and everybody is, oh my gosh, look at the boy. He is so damn fluent. <laughs> so then everybody asked me that, bro, why, how did you become so what's, excellent, so master in English? What's the magic? Yeah. So please, can you please tell us about so, your magic trick? And this magic piece was created by Tissel Bangladesh for me. And yes. I'm very thankful. And also to Yasser sir also. He did a lot of hard work for us. For and also making us fluent in English. There's a lot of contributions for him. Okay. So, um, you know what? Lots of you guys just asked me, like, can you please tell us some resources from, I mean, how can we learn English? How can we be fluent? So... As far as I hear, heard from your mouth, like, you've been very, very, very fluent. So can you please tell us, like, what are some ways to be fluent in English, to be master like you? Well, that's a very good question from you. And most of us uh, are thinking that what will be its answer. Yeah. So, um, first of all, I would like to start this answering the question is, 
uh, you have to be fluent a little bit like your tone your accent should be matched with the original english speakers mm -hmm. and you can do it by watching some uh, videos on youtube because youtube is the biggest platform for yeah. learning english and in this modern world we use what that. are you going to suggest for kids uh, for kids uh, there are some kids uh, channel like english kids english for kids and they make some animation based mm -hmm. videos they give some boxes on the animation they save the conversation and the kids try to copy them and this copying can make their children's accent more beautiful and attractive yep okay and number two is um preferably listening to english songs and english reading english books mm -hmm. because english uh, it can be down through listening songs also like uh, there are some lots of English songs of Taylor's and Shawn Mendes, Selena uh, Gomez, Ariana Grande, and, Justin yeah. Bieber, more and more, more lots and of more Justin Bieber like this, and Shakira. He's uh, he's also the most famous singer uh -huh. according to my opinion. Mm -hmm. You can also uh, see some songs of her, and I love her. Same I love her here. songs, and yep, and I can give you some reading book. Like uh, I read some books of Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Okay. And then Did you I just say Harry Potter? Harry Potter, yeah. <laughs> I said Harry Potter. <laughs> the difference between <laughs> British and American <laughs> accent is so quite different. And then you can read another book called Jim Reaper, Son of Grimm. Mm -hmm. It's a type of uh, funny comedy book. It contains like a ghost yeah horror types okay okay it's a comedian book yeah so it will be very really really great for kids yeah definitely it's uh, mainly for kids okay there are some uh, more books based on english for the learners they can get them in any book stalls or bookshops mm -hmm. and then i want to tell another thing that is to make presentations ah. or you can also say to record your Videos. voice or a on voice, yeah. voice recorder mm -hmm. that's the most important thing i want to include that in this question because uh, most of us think that without presentation we can learn english but it's not true and according to my opinion when i started my journey at tso uh, i first learning i'm giving input but not getting the output, output. so sir told me that you can make presentations so I told to sir that sir actually I'm um, sorry to say I'm feeling so shy that <laughs> I can stand in front of the camera. That's so funny. So uh, sir told me that why wow, you should be more brave. You are a good student. So then sir told me that you can also practice through recording your voices mm -hmm. because first of all accent is to be good. Then you are you can do videos. Moreover you can want. So yep, this that goes to the third one. Fourth one is um, actually the best thing is not not to learn the English by yourself. You need to have a partner, like it can be your elder brother or sister, it can be your elder sister, mommy, daddy, mommy, daddy, or it can anyone. be your cousin, anyone. You know what? When yeah. I don't find a partner, I just like go to the in front of the mirror and it's just like hey hello yeah. like this and I, can, I also can talk with this mouse as well it yeah. can be your mouse partner your mu mouse can be your partner as well so right it can be book also anything in anything, this world any objects yes you see around your house mm -hmm. any outside people so, might think you're crazy mm -hmm. but, but but actually in reality you are doing this for a betterment in English yes yeah so yes, what is your next next point? Do you have um, next point? My next point is finally it's the, it will be our my final point. Okay, let's. that is uh, if you want to be more fluent English, I prefer you to join the Tesol Bangladesh. Definitely. What Definitely. are you waiting for? <laughs> Just come and join with us. Then you'll be you will be fluent in English, and we are giving you the surety. Like you will be a damn crazy master like him. As you guys can see, the example is sitting here. So, um, can we just check the comment box? Yeah, absolutely. You can check the comment box. Okay, lots of comments. Hi, Lamia. Hello, Jeffs, Jeffs. Very, very nice. Keep it up. Thank you. 
Hi Lamia, long time no see. I know, long time no see. Hi Lamia, hey, what's up? Oh ho, great job with love, 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 love. Thank you. Okay, actually that's my mother. Okay, 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 okay. it's your mother. Yeah. Okay, got it. So Ande is watching you. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, next. well, besides that, uh, my mother also inspires me. There's a lot of contributions mm -hmm. for her. Mm -hmm. um, my mother helps me to learn the phonetic sounds because my tone was so heavy that <laughs> I can also pronounce with correct pronunciation. Mm -hmm. So my mother helped me to pronounce them step by step. And by beating? No, no, no. no. <laughs> By telling me scientifically <laughs> okay. and by telling me. Okay, okay. Helping you know, me to learn uh, mm -hmm. through online sessions. This is when mothers are best. Yeah. So your mother helped you. What about your father? My father also helped me to make presentations. No. He always gave me lots of ideas like when I'm confused in making presentations that what should I make? I don't have any topics. but. In reality, I have lots of topics to say. Yes, exactly. Then, when you try to make a video, you're just like, what am I going to do? I don't have yeah. any topic. Oh my gosh. And lots of other stuff. Then my father helped me by telling some uh, unbelievable and uncommon topics that is oh related gosh. to learning then English. I have to kidnap your father. <laughs> I, need some, <laughs> I need some unique topics. Yeah. But unfortunately, I don't have any sad. You're, you're such a lucky person. Your mother yeah. is supportive, your father is supportive, everyone is supportive. So did you ever get hate comment from anyone? Um, actually, I didn't get any hate comment from everyone because all of my, my, I mean, viewers and all of my members of my page, my channel, all of one always inspired me, mostly my grandma and my mama, actually. Okay. They always your inspired me. Your uncle and your grandma. And, yeah, and uncle. So they always inspire me Everybody and told is inspiring. Me. Yeah. What about your friends? My friends is always at my side and my friends you also were lucky. joined. You were lucky. <laughs> yeah, joined with me at Tessel. And Ooh, I mean what is his name? Um it can be like Raihana, uh, I okay, know. Like then more than uh three to four students joined with me at Tessel mm -hmm. and they are at um they're at my class. Okay. They are my classmates. Okay, you're, you guys are your mid and classmates yeah, as well. Yeah, we are together. You have got a comment. Wow, great mama. Is it your mama? Yeah. Oh, you're talking about, you was talking about your mama and he's yeah. here. Great, what a connection. Yeah, yeah, I'm very really lucky, I think. Yes, you are. Um, may I ask you a question? Yeah. Is black your favorite color? Uh, my favorite color is... So you're wearing black suit yeah. and black cap. Everything is black. So this is why I'm asking you. Yeah. Is black your favorite color? Well, I, I, you are right. My black is my favorite color. Okay. And I love black because black is a unique color. It is. Among all the colors. Yes. It and doesn't change the color if you yeah. put any color on it. Yeah. So you... And um, as you guys know, this show is called Music Hours. Without any music, it's not going to work, right? And um, yeah. as you know, he's the master of English. But you don't know her. his, I mean, unique secret. It's He is also a great singer, yeah. as far as I know. And may I know how much you like song or singing? Um, and what, do you, what is song for you, actually? What is music for you? Um, according to my opinion, um, music is an uh, important thing for our mental health and physical health, mm -hmm. first of all. Then uh, music also gives you lots of ideas about what's the main theme of this music. Mm -hmm. And yeah, music, uh, we, we pass our leisure time by listening to lots of music, so our ancient bango, ancient song mm -hmm. of Indian song, yeah. And first, to learn singing, um, first of all, you need to have a great tone because yep. to sing a music is not easy at all, according to my no, opinion. No, 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 it's not easy. To Seems learn, like it's easy, easy but, but according to reality, it's, it's not. not at all. Uh, the yeah. person is doing it, he know. Yeah. He know what is the pain. They have to uh, drink lots of water for having a good tone, for yep. having a wet. Yep, and you know what? If you're a singer, you cannot have 
cold things. Yeah, you need to have warm thing like yeah. warm water. Yep, yeah. and in the summer it's it's really tough for those singers yeah. and voice yeah. artists they they can't have cold water they can't have ice yeah. creams anything which is related to cold they need because warm if they things. take this cold thing they may be affected with colds or you, they may get feverish that's why okay lamia what if you could speak to god what would you say wow that's <laughs> not, in, i mean uh, that's an impossible but possible question <laughs> Impossible, but possible question. Well, so, um, uh, I think it can't be possible, but it also can be possible yeah. as well. But for me, I think it's not possible. Yeah, I also think because uh, our only God is Allah, I yep. think all of you know, mm -hmm. and we are the entity of Islam. Mm -hmm. Islam is our main religion, and yep. Islam is the complete code of our life. Yep. And in so I don't think it's not gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> Just leave it, right? And the the question is secret. I'm not going to tell you. Yeah. It's a secret question. It's a secret question. Yeah. So um, did you learn singing from anywhere? Um, I learned singing, but mm -hmm. I didn't learn from any coach okay. or any teacher. I learned by practicing by myself. Cool. I need to Talented just person. I need to think that how can I match the tone with the singer? Mm -hmm. That person who sings songs, they need to have a great tone, and yep. I my duty is to copy the tone. Mm -hmm. Then I can sing a music. Yep. Yeah, that's the main thing to learn music. Beside that, you need to have some idea about how we can sing music. Yep. Yeah, that's all about the music. Yep. So, um, uh, who's your favorite singer? According to my opinion, um, my favorite singer is Shakira. Shakira. I think all of you have heard in the previous. Yep. And also Alan Walker. But One. actually, Alan Walker is not a singer. He's a DJ. Yeah. But his songs, uh, song is was awesome. Yes, it awesome. is awesome. It's awesome. So one of the song of Shakira became viral, which is called. Um, it's time, I mean, the line is it's time for Africa, right? Yeah, South Africa. South Africa. Yeah. So this song became viral and it got million of billion of views, I guess. And another one of an animational based cartoons, I think it's Zootopia. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's Zootopia. There was a fox and mm -hmm. a rabbit police mm -hmm. officer. Mm -hmm. And... In this animation, Shakira made a song, mm -hmm. and I forgot that always our Yasisar used to play this song in our course-based classes. Okay. I okay. think you remember, maybe. I don't think so, because I always heard the song when Sir played, uh, I'm a Muslim oh, man. Yeah. This song, certain... I mean, oh, yeah, I remember that song of Shakira. It's Try Everything. Okay, okay, yeah. got it. Try okay. Everything. So are you into, you're just into pop song. What about K-pop, J-pop, C-pop? Well, um, actually, I don't have any idea about those musical bands. Okay. Uh, okay. But I heard okay. some of my friends that K-pop, uh, Blackpink, I think. Blackpink, BTS, Red Velvet, IPC, yeah. there are lots of bands. Yeah. So do you like Blackpink? Um, actually, I didn't watch any okay. of those songs. But okay. I no, I'm not sure about that. That's okay. why. Okay. What about Bangla songs? Are you into Bangla songs? Bangla songs, uh, my father and my mother loves it very much. <laughs> Same here. But recently, I am becoming. I also fan. love, but um, not so. I mean, a little bit lovable uh, at Bangla so, song because so. we are the people of Bangladesh, and uh, we should have a clear idea for Bengali songs like uh, <laughs> Hajj yes. Islam and mm -hmm. Rabindranath Thakur. Mm -hmm. And there are lots of more famous singers, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as I know. What about Hindi? Hindi, um, according to... I don't like Hindi that much, just because of, as far as I know, yeah. if you heard the Hindi songs, it makes your ha accent bad. Yeah. In, um, Hindi songs language are different, they speak their own language, Hindu. Mm -hmm. So that we can we cannot sometimes relate with the accent. Yep. So, um, you know what? Uh, he's a singer, as far as you know, and he's a crazy fan of Ellen Walker, right? Yeah. And Sakura as well. And he's going to sing a song by himself, which is called... Um, Alone. By... 
by Alan Walker. Alone by Alan Walker. Alone. <laughs> okay, so which is called Alone by Alan Walker, and now she's going. I mean, he's going to present the song within yeah. three, two, one. Lost in your mind. I wanna know. Am I losing my mind? Never let me go. If this night is not forever, at least we are together. Now I know I'm not alone. I know I'm not alone. Anyway, whenever, apart but still together. I know I'm not alone. I know I'm not alone. So, mm. so, that, so that is it? Yeah. Okay, that was a really, really, really nice song. I love it. You know, one of my most favorite parts is, I know I'm not alone. Well, um, actually, according to my, I want to say something about that song. I mean, the main thing. Yep. That is, alone. this song was named Alone mm-hmm. because uh, this song motivates us to be stay together. Yep. To keep a bond together. Yep. Because... Uh, so keeping ourselves alone, we can't lead the life no. in this world. No. So we need a partner. Definitely, for sure. I mean, you cannot live alone. Yeah. I know lots of you guys like love to be alone, but sometimes you need a partner yeah. in your life. Everybody it feels bored to you that if there were any partners with me, then I can pass my favorite time. With you know what? Him or her. Sometimes I do live by myself, like solo. So yeah. sometimes I feel like, oh, I wish I could have a partner yeah. that he or she could join with me. And you know, sometimes it's being boring. It's become boring yeah. to not having a partner. So the song, the song's main point is you need a partner in your life. Yeah. You cannot be alone. So you, yeah, this is all about that song. Do you want to sing any else? Any other song? Um, actually, I can't sing. I know about this song. Mm. Yeah, and I also know another song that is uh, Ignite. Okay. Sing, sang by K391. Okay. So do you want to sing it? Um, Actually, I'm not having clear idea about this. Okay, song. no worries. Remember. If you want to sing it, then you can go for it. Just because of music hour means music, 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 full of music. music. <laughs> Session. Yeah, yeah, it's all about the music station. But sometimes we go for something else as well. Because yeah. just because of if you talk about music in the entire session, it became boring. Yeah, I like this song. Hello. Yes. So, yeah. And do you want to say something else? Um, well, I want to say another thing that there is a workshop. I yep. think all of you know it will start in 18th March. Mm-hmm. Yeah. With Yassi Sir. It's known as Phonetics Workshop. Yep. Are you and, joining? Um, yes, I'm joining Woo-hoo. with Yassister because I joined every workshop that Yassister that Yassister. How I'm many creative. times you did workshop? Um, ten to twelve. Same. <laughs> but still, we don't know everything. Still. Yeah. Still, we are not pro like Yasser, sir. Yes. So those who like did the workshop for several times. Sometimes, you know, some of my friends are this mm. old. They're just like, I did the workshop, so why am I going to do it again? But you did it, but I guess you're not the perfect one. You need to be perfect. And nobody can be perfect. If you did it for one, if you do it for again, then it will be practice of yours, right? Yeah. So, yeah, if you did it, no Because worries. to learn something, um, we need to do lots of courses again mm-hmm. and again. Again and again. Then we can be... You have to be, be in touch. You have yeah. to keep in touch Keep with connected us. with yes. any institution. Because when you get disconnected, you can realize that how important it was to yep. connect with any institution. Yep. And, if, and, and, and you, you can also forget something that happened all on, I mean, advanced... You know what, if you don't like practice learning English, then you'll forget how to speak in English. Yeah. Definitely. Like, if you don't, if you like, don't practice singing, then you'll forget about how to sing. Sing. There there were some tips mm -hmm. or tricks, how to start and how to end that. Assalamu alaikum, Lami Apu. I what about you, huh? (laughs) Do you know what she mean? I think uh, she mean to you, uh, maybe. I know she mean to you, but what she trying to mean? 
I would about you. Can you please, honey, let me know clearly what you're trying to mean? Are you meaning how I am or, or something else? I'm so sorry if you think like I'm feeling a bit down today just because of after coming from the book fair. Yeah. It's feel like my um, body well, I want to ask you a question mm, that Definitely go for it. Uh how did you feel when you visited the book fair because with our full team? Yeah, I was uh I feel I can't I go because I was busy with my examination. Oh, sad. In the middle. Sad. There was an exam it was the last exam mm -hmm. that day when you were going to the book fair with your teams it was mathematics and islam and religion okay so that's why i couldn't join but i feel very sad no worries next year inshallah. next year inshallah yeah so my i felt like heaven i'm in heaven just because of we visited lots of place we uh um you know that what's what's nice with this i mean yeah i saw that you uh, published some photos, photos of book yes. years like yeah. it was awesome yes and also was. i saw that safwan brother also went yep. there safwan was also there a uh, great job labib is your name labib as well yeah it's my childhood name actually. okay gotcha really proud of you don't you want to say thank you? <laughs> you thank you for No, what about you? Yes, what about me? What you want to know? Please let me know clearly. So, in that book here, we did lots of fun. There was Simrin, there was Zareen, yeah. then uh, Safwan, Azan, lots yeah. of students of the yeah. South Bangladesh. There was Ash, sir, our full entire team, and we did lots of fun. And I also met with Zafori Polsar as well. Wow, that's an unbelievable. Mm -hmm. I met with him and uh, we talked. Well, uh, I have a desire to meet with him uh, next time, inshallah, because he's also my favorite author. Mm -hmm. I saw her, I saw his book, lots of books, and his lots of books are scientific based. Mm -hmm. They're his books. Who's your most favorite writer? And as I told you, then Jafar Iqbal. What about, what about Humayun Ahmed? Do you like him? Um, yes, I also like him. Besides that, I also love. Another author who is known as Ontik Mahamud, I think you know. Ah, uh, yep. Mm -hmm. He's an anim uh, animator mm -hmm. and cartoonist mm -hmm. of Ten Minutes School. And no. I saw... I saw him on Book Fair, I guess. Yeah. Um, he published some books like... Maybe I forgot. Mm -hmm. I know some of them. Okay, gotcha. So he's so famous nowadays, recently. Yeah. For, for, I mean, two kids. Kids love him so much. Yeah. Cause Though he's a... Cartoonist, yep, yeah, exactly. For animation is mm -hmm. that is uh, most famous thing for children. Mm -hmm. That nowadays children's mostly love, are technology based. Yep, and they watch animation. Cartoons. They love animation cartoons. I don't know why, but they just love it. Now mm. just kids forget about Doraemon, Shin Chan, and uh, they just go for some other cartoons. Like and nowadays kids are really, really, really attracted to anime. Yeah, animation, anime, yeah, yeah. Anime, they just love Japanese, Chinese, and Korean animes, I don't know. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's good to learn any other language when How many you... language do you know? <laughs> it's a very tough question. Is it? <laughs> okay, like, you know, lots of people know lots of languages. I only know English, um, Hindi, and Bengali. Okay, three language. Great Holy. job, great job. Okay, so it's been 33 minutes and 47 sec, 47 seconds, and um, you know, what was your first impressions on me? Um, my first impression was that I have a long desire to go to a live with you, mm. and I also, <laughs> yeah, on many classes, mm -hmm. you were present, yep. that I have joined. Yep. So, I also, I think you remember that I have a conversation with you on a breakout room yep. with Ash, sir. Yep, I remember that conversation. I think I told you that also I want to join a live session. Yes, and yeah. then that breakout room cut. And <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately, we cannot talk. Yeah. He was saying, me, can I have your number? And I was saying, zero one, then finished. Yeah, uh, that it was, was the, break, cause, uh, the breakout room ended at 60 seconds. Mm -hmm. It was so fast. Because sorry. Okay. Can't make the schedule of that. Very but unfortunately, good. we met and okay. yes, after, after a very long time. time. So, um, your sister did a comment. I am deeply proud of you, both of you. Thank you very Thank much. You, sir. And we are also very, 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 proud very much proud of you to have a teacher like you. Yeah. He's the 
he's the GOAT, I mean, greatest of all time. Yeah, mighty of English. Yes, exactly. So, um, anything else? Um, actually, I don't have nothing to say. Okay, so I guess this is all for today. Yeah. And um, this is all for today, and I hope you like I hope you guys like it. Like like it. Don't forget to smash the like button. I will see you guys in my next live station. Till then, stay home, stay safe, and stay. And also, um, I want to say another thing. Endly that. Oh, join the, the way, phonetics workshop. By the way, you have got a YouTube channel. Yeah. So could you please tell the channel name? Um, my channel's name is Azwad Abra Labib, and I will send the channel link in the comment section of this live station. And don't forget to subscribe my Just Facebook subscribe page also. Button and you know there is a bell, a notification bell. So yeah. just hit that bell and also like his Facebook page. I have a page. Uh, its name is Labib's English Learning Blogs. And in these blogs, you can learn something, learn English phrases. Because nowadays we see that to learn, bef uh, instead of learn memorizing English, we are we can practice English. So we shouldn't memorize English because English is not a thing which is of memorize. Rather, we should practice it by ourselves. Mm -hmm. We should practice and be confident. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's so um, you just like give a like on his page and yeah. smash the subscribe button on his YouTube channel. And uh, this is all for today. This is all about today's live station, and I hope he like it. Yeah, and I, will also I absolutely like it Thank because it you. was my first time. Thank you, and I hope you guys also love it. And uh, the journey. And also, thanks to you for giving me a lot of time for this live station. Not at all, just because it's my work, to giving time to my guest, as you know. And uh, this is all for today. And I will see you guys in my next live session. Till then, stay home, stay safe, and don't forget. Thank you very to stay much. Bye. Have Bye. a nice day.